friends welcome to why did your is wrong so today i will be explaining you how to solve algebraic calculation diagram of oligon pure pyroxene and ortho pyroxene so i will tell you with the three samples i have three samples i will tell you with the three samples and we will plot the diagram and we will find out which minerals we got okay excited i am also to do too much fun so be happy and let's start it so in this video we will be solving a problem on algebraic classification diagram which is this one okay i have drawn this i have shown you in the last video how to draw it on the triangular graph that is here you can see it and this is our model composition so this time model composition will be given to you yeah it's clear now so this we have a model composition here and so where are our steps have you guys written your steps for iogs classification diagram so these are the steps so the first step is note down the mineral percent of minerals which are present at the corners of triangle so we we'll see here see here at the top it is it is olivine here here ortho pyroxene sorry here ortho pyroxene and here kilo pyroxene so it is o means olivine here i have written op op means ortho pyroxene here cp cp means kilo pyroxene okay so the first step is to note down the mineral percentage of minerals which are present at the corners of triangle so here we have to take only olivine kilo pyroxene and ortho pyroxene not pledge of place right so only three minerals we will take on the top side okay so this three have we have to take now the next step is so we note down it so o op and cp so op is 0 cp is 19 and it is 16.5 okay so i have noted down the values now the next step is recalculate the mineral to 100% so as i told you the basics of recalculation to 100% already many times so once more i will tell you so see if you have any three minerals p q and a so that's what you have to do is that to find the recalculation value of p you have to do only p divided by p plus q plus a into 100 in the same way to recalculation value of q will be q upon p plus q plus a into 100 In the same way, recalculation value of A will be A upon P plus Q plus A into 100. That's it. So using this formula, this is a basic formula. We will apply this in this O plus O O P and N C P. So it will be recalculation of O will be O upon O plus O P plus C P into 100. In the same way, we will find it out of OP and CP also. So after the calculation, we got the values. All right, directly values. So the value of O is forty forty six percent, and the value of OP is zero because the whole is zero only, and the value of CP is fifty four. Okay, we got the values here. So our now next step is read up. So we have done the recap question. Now third step is plot the points in IOGS classification diagram. So this is our diagram. It is here. So we will plot here the points. So let's plot it. So first point is O. So you can see O is 46. Okay, and O is 100 here. O is 100 here, and it will be zero on this line. O P and C P line it will be zero. So we want 46. We will count from here. This is five. Sorry, this is zero. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Then forty-five, and then just a one dotted line above this line will be a 46. So we will make a line there so that you could actually you have to imagine all these lines, but I am drawing this so that you could understand. Okay. 
So this line we have made. Okay, I have made this line. So you can see this line, right? This line I have made. Now the second is OP. OP is equal to zero. So OP is here 100, right? See in this corner. OP is here 100, so it will be zero at this line. OP and uh, sorry, CP and O line on this line it will be zero. So we have to draw there a line because OP will be zero. It will be zero here. So I have drawn a line here. Okay. So all light is a darker line, so you cannot look it. I think so. Then now next is CP. So see here CP is 54. Let's clean the box. Okay. So CP is 100 here and it will be 0 at this point. O and OP line it will be 0. Come in this whole line it will be 0. Right. So it is 0 here. Then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 and then it is 50. So we want this is the next one 55. So just a one line before this will be a line of 54. So I will draw it. Okay. I have drawn here. So you can see this. See here this point. This is our first point. See now the whatever lines we have drawn. This line, this line you have to rub. Just you have to find the point. We have we have plotted the point one. Okay. In the similar way. We have to do, okay, this is sample 1, this is sample 2 and this is sample 3. In your practical exam or in the practical lab, you can get more than these samples or you can get only one or two samples also. So I have three samples now. So we have done first sample. Now we will do second sample. That is 77%, 77 olivine and 3% 7.5% and also is 0%. So again we have to recalculate them first. This is basic formula. So after recalculation, I got the values. So after recalculation, I got the values which is for second sample is 0, olivine equals to 91, orthopyrosine equals to 0 and pyrosine equals to 9. So we will now plot it. So olivine is 91. So here olivine is 100 here and 90 here. See we have drawn the line. You might remember this line. See at the top side there is 90, it is 90 here. So 91 will be the just second line, second dotted line. I will plot a line here. So I have plotted the line, you can see here. Now the second is OP. So OP is 0, we know this whole line is of 0 only. So we will still we will draw here. Okay, that is enough. And now the CP is 9, you can see here, right? CP is 9. So cleaner pyroxene is 9 now. So Clinopyroxene is 100 here and 0 here. So this is 0, 5, 10. So just one line before 10 will be the 9. So I will make it here. Yeah. So as you can see, all the three lines intersect at one point that is this. I will make a circle and I will write here. 2 so you can see it the first one is this and second one is this ok now we have a third sample also this is 89.6 3.8 and orthopyrosine 0 so after recalculating them I got the values which are oh see this is the third one Ortho olivine is 96 orthopyrosine 0 cp is 4 so we will now plot them so olive is 96, so let's plot it. So 90 is here, you remember, and now 91, 92, and this is 95. So just one line above 95 will be 96. Okay. Friends, remember one thing: you don't have to draw these lines. Okay, just imagine these lines. I am drawing this so that you could understand. You have to just imagine these lines if you, and if you are drawing the lines, don't forget to rub them in your practical exam. Otherwise, it will be total mess up. Then you will be unable to understand or the sir will be unable to understand. Sir or ma'am, whatever you have.
okay so we have drawn all even equals to 96 now cp is 4 so cp is 100 here 0 here so just the fourth line will be 0 point, point 0.1 oh sorry 0 1 2 3 4 so the fourth line will be this of 4 so we are drawing here a line okay we got a line and op is 0 so op is 100 here and 0 on this line so which is equal to it is here the third point is here okay so now we will see in the telegraph we have we have a diagram so our two points are on this line or oh sorry our, all the points are only on this line because our orthogonal is 0 right so in the first point comes here our in above 40 so above 40 in this line last line it was where light so our first one is where light and our second and third it comes above 90 okay so above 90 it is due night so second and third is due night and the first one is where light so in this way we have successfully completed our IUGS classification diagram of olivine orthopyroxene and clinopyroxene hope so all of you understand everything and if still all of you have any, any of you has any queries you can comment in comment your queries or doubts and then I will be replying to you Hope so you enjoyed a lot the video. I enjoyed this video and there our IUGS, IUGS transition diagram. I have already explained the two diagrams. This was the third diagram. So other than this, if you want me to cover any other topic regarding IUGS transition diagram or anything, just comment down. I will make a video on that. Okay. I have made a video on CFL for Hong Kong and also Nigli Valley form with the example. Whenever I will make a video, I will, I will make with an example so that you can understand again very properly. And if you want me to make a uh, part or uh, example which you want to give me so you can comment your the percentage analysis or something whatever table you have then I can make a video on that also no problem and so if you like the video and this, don't forget to press the like button share with your friends who want to learn all these things and subscribe to the channel to get all the updates regarding the geology okay so see you in the next video till then thank you for watching the video